everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a single crochet invisible decrease when you're closing an amigurumi piece. So I just have a shell here that I'm making for a snail and I've just started around that calls for two single crochets and one single crochet invisible decrease. The reason I use invisible decreases is because it makes your stitches tighter and neater when you're decreasing your piece. It makes it look more like the front of the piece where you've increased and you'll have less show through of stuffing when you're done. So if you look at the stitches from the top, you can see that it's made up of a V. You have the front loop that's closest to you and the back loop. Single crochet invisible decrease is worked in the front loops only. So I pick up the front loop of the next two stitches so that I have three loops on my hook. Then I make my single crochet. I yarn over, I pull through both front loops, I yarn over and pull through the final two loops on my hook. So I'll show you that again, but I'm gonna single crochet two to get to my next single crochet invisible decrease. Okay, I'm at my next single crochet invisible decrease. So I pick up again the front loops of the next two stitches. So I have three total loops on my hook. I yarn over, I pull through the first two loops. Those are the front loops that I picked up. Then I yarn over again and pull through the final two loops on my hook. That finishes my single crochet invisible decrease. I'll do one more. So I'm gonna do two single crochets to get to my next single crochet invisible decrease. I'm here. So I'm going to do a single crochet invisible decrease by putting my hook in the front loop only of the next two stitches. I yarn over, pull through the first two loops, those were the front loops I picked up, yarn over again, pull through the final two loops. And that's how you do a single crochet and visible decrease. Thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below.